little bit of a gloomy day. Today is our decorating day. We're doing something really cool later on today in this car. But right now, we're just decorating, pulling all of our Christmas crap out of the garage. Once a year chore. doing? I'm making Christmas tree decorating treats, but I have a mouthful of banana, right? I mean, uh, peanut butter right now. And what is this? Christmas hot chocolate. Ooh. I never have hot chocolate. Happy holidays. I can't wait. Ooh, it's kind of cinnamony. Mm. That's really good. Mexican hot chocolate. Rocking. <clears throat> I still have peanut butter in my throat. <laughs> Gifts. Don't look. What do you do? I, I went and grew our Christmas tree. Every year, I go down to the garage and I grow our tree out of this box. And this has been our tree for the last, I think, 20 years. And the box is still... Well, it's kind of it's kind of like a Franken box. Here's the thing that holds the tree up. Let me show you. Then you know it's Christmas when the snow starts to fall. Then you know it's Christmas. For the children above all Then you know it's Christmas Cause Santa's on his way We stand under the mistletoe And then it's Christmas Day This is a Tiffany crystal First, first ornament of the year Forever stays with us all right, we're done. I'm all done. Can we have lunch now? Oh. And gathers all his friends When Santa and his missus Wraps the final gift You know it's time for Christmas For each and every one We're going to Carpinteria, which is just outside of Santa Barbara. My sister has directed a, a new play, which is The Christmas Carol, uh, for, I don't know the name of the theater, but we go up, you know, kind of once a year and see her, her plays. This time it's a Christmas play. Looking pretty cool. We need some more Christmassy spirit, especially after uh, Santa's Village. And I also want to say uh, thank you to you guys. A lot of people have mentioned that they really enjoyed that Santa's Village vlog and uh, we really enjoyed doing it. We had a blast and we're going to go back maybe in January.
and we're in Carpinteria, and it seems like there was a huge, huge parade, Christmas parade, and we just missed it. And all the kids are running around the streets, no cars are allowed. Feels very Christmassy, lots of people in costume. I don't think they kids. Bring the cars, but not the kids. You got, you got something right there. Ah. There you go. Sugar. This is Jody. We are in the, the coolest store in Carpinteria. This is a little, is it like a shell store? Mm -hmm. Shells and gifts and jewelry. Okay, so what's, what I'm gonna buy. what's the name of the store? Tide Pools. Tide, Tide Pools is the name of the store. You're not supposed to show that, that's a gift. <laughs> she won't watch it. <laughs> what's the best thing about your store? Ooh, the people. Yeah, they're all happy. Yes. In Carpinteria. How can you not be happy walking around and seeing <laughs> this stuff? This stuff, this is yeah. great. Thank you really you. do a great job at picking good stuff mm, in the store. You. Awesome. Anybody you want to say hi to? My niece, Andrea. Hi, Andrea. <laughs> what a sweetheart. Yeah. Nicest lady. You come up to Carpinteria, which is just south of Santa Barbara, just north of Ventura. Come into Tide Pools and say hi to Jody. She is the coolest lady. She's got really cool stuff. You great, can buy great sea everything. stuff. Yep. Yeah. And Kathy bought something. Don't tell anybody. It's a I gift. I showed you already. going into Senor Frogs for dinner. They don't serve frogs, but it's Mexican food. And it's a historical site. 1910. Oh, thank you for the light. George, you have directed this play. Are you nervous? No. Are you worried? No. Are you excited? Yes. It's a good show. And how big's the cast? 26 actors. Do you need, do you have any need for any extras? Me? <laughs> it's gonna start soon. 10 minutes. I think it's gonna be cold. But I got the most important part right here. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, guys? Are you Tiny Tim? Good job. Are you guys excited? These, these are all the real stars of this play. Every year. Some of 
my slight indigestion must have caused my senses to be full. He's of undigested beef. Perhaps a dab of mustard. Or a sliver of cheese, or even some, some undercooked potato. Oh, fuck, like I said. Oh, 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 oh. It's a fancy theater term, they tell me. It looks like you had a great time. I always have a good time. Okay. What, what's the best part about doing plays like this for you? Uh, it's, it's kind of a tradition. I've done it for six, seven years, and uh, it's not really like Christmas time without doing it. And It's a small town, it's a small town theater, and everybody likes coming, and it's yeah. just kind of a natural part of Christmas. Well, you did a fantastic job. Thank you very much. Fantastic job. I appreciate that. Really Thank fun. you. Really Thank you. Enjoyed. We have a lot of fun doing okay. it. Good job, George. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Everybody had a blast. The kids did really good. Was there any mistakes? Yes. Because we didn't notice anything. Good. Good. Yeah. Thank you. It's Great best. job. It's fantastic yeah. job. If you want to see more of what Jordana does, you got to come up to the, what is this place? The Plaza Theater. Plaza Theater in Carpinteria. Amazing stuff. And more to come. Absolutely. I thought I'd take a ride. I got home late last night, so I didn't get a chance to finish editing this vlog or kind of talking about what happened yesterday. But uh, I'm just so proud of my sister. She just did such a fabulous job with that play and everyone was having such a really good time. It was a, a truly Christmassy experience. But today's theme, a couple things have come up in the last few days and I want to discuss this just in short because it's four o'clock in the morning. Pretty common for people to come out of a movie and to say whether they liked it or they didn't like it. Uh, more often than not, people complain about, you know, um, why it didn't work or look for holes and things like that. But I want you to think about something. When it comes to a movie or a play or something that has a lot of moving parts, there were hundreds of people that have spent the better part of several years in some cases for a movie like Transformers or Guardians of the Galaxy, something like that, or including Passengers, which I just saw. Hundreds of people spent a great deal of time in hopes that the work that they had done would mean something. It was led by a director with a vision. And if you went into the movie theater with that director and saw it from his vantage point, you would appreciate it more. You would understand what, what they went through to achieve certain things. And even if it did have faults, you wouldn't judge it so harshly. And complaining doesn't serve any purpose. But what it does do is it helps to shrink to condense and what we want to do as human beings is to help expand and advance and grow when you are driving a car like i am quite frequently you go see a movie uh, you go see a play you see something that someone's created you got to strive to look for the positive side of things and in searching for the positive side 
you'll help to advance them, help to advance yourself, and then help to advance the world as a whole. It's Christmas time. We're doing our best to give love and good cheer and lots of things uh, to be grateful for. So spend today thinking about the good things in your life. Strive to focus on the positive, that everything is okay. Take a deep breath and you're rocking. That's it for today's vlog. Big thanks to George for having me up uh, to Carbon Maria to see her play. He did a great job. And to the kids and all the actors of the play, you guys, top notch. Way to go.